You can get the Moving Platforms package in the description below for free along with all my other free tools and assets. After you sign up, you'll get an email with a link to my free resources. There you can find the Moving Platforms package, download it and import it into your project. You will see a Moving Platforms folder. To get started, drag and drop the platform from the Prefabs folder into your scene. It has a sprite render where you can change the sprite. It has a box collider to handle collisions. The collider is used by this effector to make it a one-way platform. Check out this video if you want to learn more about that. It also has a kinematic rigid body and it has a trigger to detect when the player is on the platform. To start adding waypoints, enable editing on the platform controller component. When you click, a point will be created. You can insert waypoints in between two points by clicking on the line. If you hold control and click, you can delete points. You can also drag existing points and reposition them. You can control if the path will be closed or open, and you can control how it will behave, whether it will loop or ping pong. Looping means that when it gets to the last waypoint, it will continue. Ping pong means that when it gets to the last waypoint, it will reverse direction and go backwards. You can also control the size of the points, the snap settings, the move speed, the stopping distance, and also the color of the points. There is no universal way to get the player to move smoothly with the platform. It depends on how your player code is set up. The most common way is to detect when the player enters the platform trigger and set the platform as the parent of the player. We can also increase the gravity factor to keep the player glued to the platform. Also remember to revert everything when the player exits the trigger. If your player uses velocity to move, you will also need to add the horizontal velocity to your player movement. And that's it. If you run into any problems, join our Discord server and ask for help there.